I'm Shannon Ogden with your Denver 7 update. As of tonight, all but a handful of counties are now letting retailers open in a limited capacity. But there's only one place in the metro where you can walk into a store and get your hair cut. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn reports from Douglas County. There's no rush to get in line like you might see on a Black Friday. It's a little different for sure. We have to wait in our car and she'll text us then when we're able to go in. While business was painfully slow at the outlets at Castle Rock, the mood among customers, a reserved sense of optimism. I think it's nice. Everybody's been cooped up so long. You just really want to do something, even if it's just walk outside. It's slowly coming back to a new normal. That new normal will include new rules, at least for now at places like the Skechers store. Yeah, we encourage customers to try on the shoes, but try not to touch the display because we're still trying to figure out how to fully sanitize this safely and we don't damage the shoes as well, too. Stacy Owens and her son were stopping to get haircuts. Masks will be required by both, you know, stylist and customers, and then she wipes down all of her chairs and equipment before we go in. Dana Ross's daughter was also getting a haircut. I can't go in with her, so I dropped her off. She and others grateful but guarded about the reopening. We can pitch in a little bit through some of these shops here, then and it's a mission accomplished. I don't want to have a huge spike, but at the same time, the economy is definitely hurting. I can't imagine not getting paychecks for the last eight weeks. To be honest, I don't know what I want. I, to be honest, it's so scary. Everything is, you know, everywhere is scary, and I'm tired of wearing the mask, but I should be wearing it. And that pretty much sums up the collective feeling at the moment, a mixed bag of emotions. It's a really good way for us to show our support for the community too. It feels good to be out in the open and see other people and not just the old people in your house that are driving you nuts. <laughs> it's a start. This is Denver 7 Update. We appreciate you watching it. Make sure to download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone to get breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Shannon Ogden.